faggot. Even writing that word feels wrong to me. But it certainly didn't feel wrong to the straight boy with shaggy blonde hair sitting three seats down from me at the lunch table, who nonchalantly calls his friend sitting adjacent from him this daily. It certainly doesn't feel wrong to the young rebel who feels powerful, carving a different, yet equally power, powerful six-letter word into the hard wooden desk I sit at every day in history class. And if the boy with the swastika tattooed in Sharpie on his forearm objected to being a walking form of 1940s Nazi propaganda, then he wouldn't have rolled up his sleeves for us all to see. But nobody seemed to see. It was after an evening filled with frustration as I played a basketball game with about five or six white guys, about a year older than me, who had a bad habit of using the end slur in every other sentence, that I realized no one had ever stood up to the degrading choice of vocabulary, especially not a younger female. From that moment on, I vowed to teach my friends the impact their choice of vocabulary can have on others. But this was not easy. Even my otherwise morally responsible friends claim they're just words and drawings. And while they are little offenses, ones that I personally hear and see every day, normality is not a guide to morality. <coughs> Correcting the small things, such as the misuse of such degrading vocabulary, is a small, yet highly significant way. Anybody can make a difference. So despite initial ridiculing, I will no longer sit quietly and listen to my white friends sing every word to a black artist's rap. I have found repetition to be key when correcting a person's vocabulary. And in a fashion quite similar to training a dog, I have successfully taught some of my peers that calling an assignment to a person retarded is not acceptable. Words are powerful. They have endlessly destructive potential. So when they're thrown around with such ignorance, it's up to those of us who use our voice to its constructive potential to work to stop the damage. I have chosen to use my voice to stand up for what I believe in, whether registering voters, canvassing for the Betsy Rader campaign, participating in nationwide or local protests, or just simply correcting how those around me speak in school. I strongly believe that in a time when even the smallest person has the technological potential to spread their voice to the entire world, those who choose not to speak up about what is important to them are just as complicit as those ignorant enough to use the word faggot as an insult. If you just wait for someone else to correct an injustice, and then I wait, and she waits as well, nothing will ever get corrected. Thank you.